everybody, welcome to Joko Outdoors. We're glad you guys are here today. Um, we are going to be talking to you about some new scent we're going to be using during deer season. Deer season has just started for us. Um, archery season has. Um, so, you know, we've got some new deer scent in and we're going to give it a try this year. We've heard some good reviews about this stuff. So we're going to give it a shot and uh, see, you know, See how well it turns out compared to what we've used in the past. And I'm, I mean, I'm still using, you know, stuff yeah. from the past too, mm -hmm. you know, um, cause we know it's successful and it works, yeah. but we're going to give this a shot too, just because we've heard so many positive reviews about this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's, right? it's, uh, it's supposed to be really good. Now, the big thing that's different about this particular scent is normally you can go down to the, to the store, you get one off the shelf and you put it in your bag and you leave it there all season. Problem with this one is, and it's not a problem because this is gonna stay fresh. This is a frozen deer scent. I don't know what you're thinking. Frozen, what in the world is a frozen deer scent doing? Well, it's sitting in our box right now. So let's get this box open and see what's in it. If you are new to the channel, if you are new to this video, don't subscribe. forget to go subscribe. Hit the like button. Ring the notification bell so you can see when we put new videos up. Give us a big thumbs up. Big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And share the video. Yes. Please. All right, guys. So when you get your box, they send it to you labeled like this. Okay? Yeah. And it comes in this nice little cooler. All right. Let's see if I can get this out. It took me a minute. When I first got it. Team! Alright. Comes in this cooler. Pop the cooler open. You got a tab on each side over here. Now why do we have this thing cut open already? Well, this is an unboxing, but we had to make we had to put this in the freezer because Yeah. Yeah, we So when you when you <laughs> first get these, they might they might come uh, thawed out, which is okay. Um, you can take it and put it in the freezer just as soon as you get them and everything. Uh, so, you know, that's why we've done it. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about this. I'm going to let Ken get the get all the urine and stuff out and show it to you. And uh, I'm going to be looking up some of the benefits of this stuff. What they say is some of the benefits okay. of this. All right. So, first one we're going to look at, this is called a multi-buck urine. Now, I looked at a little, I, I was watching a little bit of their videos um, this is on uh, the company that did our uh, that makes our our uh, turkey calls with um, our turkey calls, and now this is their their deer side of the house, and this one's a multi buck urine, and how they why they call it a multi buck, and I like that because most buck urine they don't really specify is it one buck, two bucks, ten bucks, mm -hmm. twenty bucks, hundred dollar bill, what is it, you know. All right, because that's what it feels like. It costs a hundred dollar bill nowadays. All right, so this is the multi buck urine. So you'd use this just exactly like you would a normal buck urine. You know, not the rut type urine, but just the regular one that you would use probably all season or up to the up to the rut. Then we got the thirty plus peak estrus. Now this one is what you will use obviously during the rut. But this guy, 30 plus peak estrus. This is this is the stuff where this is the the uh, peaking of. Yeah, that's that's the peaking of the of the estrus. And they scents. they call it they call it 30 plus peak estrus because it's supposed to have 30 plus milliliters of estrogen in here. Correct. Which is the highest form of estrogen that that will attract the most mature bucks. So that's why they. Call it 30 plus peak, okay? And then the last but not least, scrape lure. All right, so this is similar, put that right up there. This is similar to what we use in our drippers. But the thing about this stuff is, and I'm gonna, what I wanna try these this on is our, our uh, vines that we hang. Right there, go ahead, keep going. I wanna, <clears throat> the, the vine. Um, that we hang because yeah. they didn't even touch it last year. They, yeah. You know, with just no, they said, you know, I, I watched a couple, three or four videos from this particular guy we, we uh, follow 
and he's he's swore up and down you just hang it from a tree and they'll them deer walk past that thing 15 times to go rub on a on a limb that was hanging yeah and i'm like you I, I need to put something on that to uh attract them over there so scrape lure so just like you would do a regular mock scrape now um <clears throat> I don't know if you guys know how to do a mock scrape, so we're probably going to end up doing a video on that because I know there's a lot of new hunters. We did one. And did we do showing how to make a mm -hmm. scrape? Okay. Yep. We'll, 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 we'll post, you know, we'll post a link put, to it, know, we'll it in the it, upper right hand we'll corner. put it up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, this is going to be a neat uh, one. This is the one I'm actually most interested in to yep. see how how much, you know, how much draw it has. And... Uh, it's okay. So just let me give you a quantify the idea. So I'm trying to see. It should have the ounces on here. Can't I think twenty? No, two. There we go. It's two ounces. So these are two ounce bottles. So that's pretty much what you would buy at the big box stores, right? Two ounces of lure. So that's all of them are going to be the same. So that's what's in this buck. So this is, you know, if you ordered one of these, you ordered one of each of these. I would not recommend just ordering one of each. This should well, have. You should get this they, ones are going to use the most. I'll tell you that right they now. Have, they have kits on their website, right? So. But I can tell you that the the thirty peak estrus. <clears throat> I know that's probably going to what, what we're going to probably use the most because we don't just put this on our on our drippers. We put this on our scrapes as well. Because you know, believe it or not, doe do come by and pee on the on the scrapes as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing this stuff in action. You know, and I'm I got a very open-minded thing with this. I'm I'm really thinking that this might be a good idea with freezing it. And I don't know why I didn't think about this before. So. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's. I mean, it's something that's very interesting. You know, um, it makes sense. So I'm gonna. There, there's nine reasons why. If you go on their website, they tell yeah. you there's nine reasons why you should pick raw frozen scent. We're gonna go over those. Okay, number one. Frozen scent does not decompose like non-frozen right. scent. That is true. Well, think about this. So you've probably had some residual stuff sitting on the shelf, and you go the you sits out there the whole entire season, and all the off season rather, and then you go out there to get ready for the next hunting season, and you take the lid off, and it this thing's this smells like it's rotten. It doesn't have that pungent urine smell like it's supposed to. It's because it has gone bad. You know, just like anything else, and I don't care if you put it in a dark enclosed area where the sun don't shine on it, it's still going to break down over 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 a period of time. So, you know, that's one thing that that we uh, we're looking at now. One of the other things they do not, if I'm, uh, if, they do not sell these bigger than that, right? No, I haven't no. seen anything. All right, so than there's that. a reason, and I had a feeling that this was the case. The reason for this is is because. Two ounces is about all you want to freeze. If you get one of the big, ginormous bottles of stuff and you freeze it, it's going to take forever to thaw. Now, now and what then, they and then it's going to thaw the whole thing out. So, what they do have, if you go to their website and you look it up, they have kits. So yep. they'll have, you know, you buy six, you get six free. Um, there's one that's like you buy twenty eight and you get seventeen free. So th they they sell in large quantity Correct. in two yep. ounce mm -hmm. bottles. Okay, um, number two. There's no preservatives added. Okay. Right. So, fresh, raw, natural deer urine is the way to go. All right. If I have if I have the choice to pick that over a synthetic deer urine, I'm gonna pick this. I'm all always day picking long. natural. I'm gonna pick natural all always day long. Always natural. So okay. This is why we we before this I use tinks. Yep. And I will still use tinks when in a pinch. I always keep a bottle of Tink 69 in my bag just in case I run out so I never have, I'm out with, without a uh, scent. <clears throat> and now you, you guys know I don't use Tinks anymore. It's actually my go behind because yeah. I'm, I, you know, we've been using a different scent I mean, for the last couple of years. Look, and I'm telling you, natural scents you know, have better you, results. I have tried synthetic scents, I've tried synthetic scrapes. It, Look, me and me work. and Ken, me and Ken, we don't even use uh, we don't even use uh, scent killer anymore. I'm no, not, like I'm not no, playing. I, I mean, I'll put I'll I'm put dead no serious. urine. All right, so put we, no urine on. Just, yo, just a little bit of a plug for this because we ain't getting no no dough from them. But uh, yeah, right. Uh, was it? Uh, 
Phillips. No, no, the uh, soap. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Dr. Squatch. Dr. Squatch. Dr. Squatch, I use pine tar. Yep. Soap. He uses the, uh, uh, the, the, oak, the oak, oak moss. Oak moss. Yeah. It smells like earth. It really does, so, yeah. No more having to worry That's about what a wash if I take. In. But here's my, here's another thing, and this is one thing that a lot of hunters don't think about. They actually they think it's bad. In the off season, go out on your property when it's hot and sweat like crazy, and then take your shirt off, hang it on the stand, and leave, and put another shirt on and leave, leave it there. So now your sweaty, stinky scents all over the woods. The deer get used to that. They keep coming around, and now all of a sudden, guess what? In bow season, when it's sixty. When it's, when it's 89 degrees, 90 degrees, you're sitting up in the stand sweating your behind off. And I had to worry about, do the deer smell me? Because right. they, they think you're just another thing in the woods. And it works. I'm and, telling you, and, it works. And, you know, I mean, we, we've been using natural uh, doe pee as a cover scent for the last few years. Yeah. And I'm telling you, we've had deer walk right up under our stand and never smell us. Yeah, okay? literally. So, so, yeah, I mean, literally. Yeah. I mean, we really well, have. I mean, the doe, the doe I killed... Uh, Couple years ago, on the opening day, on yeah, opening day yeah, of, of opening, uh, day, yeah. opening day of uh, of boat season, yeah. like, uh, two years ago, wind blowing directly at my back. Seven doe walked up into the corn pile. None of them lifted their nose to see what was going on. Yeah. And I'll I'll will swear by that. And uh, so I'm 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 like I said, I'm keeping an open mind because I'm always open now, to trying new things. Now the only downfall to 100% natural, and this is the only downfall. There's some states that will not allow 100% natural. That is correct. That's where your synthetic lure comes in. And synthetic lure does have its advantages and its benefits, but the results are proven <coughs> to be better with natural scent. Well, to be honest with you, the big reason why people use synthetic scents and why they started making them is because they la they stay in the bottle over the right. season a lot longer. They don't break down, but they don't have near the, the pungent, that good smell and that draws deer in. Right. So number three, it's a hundred percent pure. There's no water added. Right. And no there, water. There, there's a lot of mass produced uh, companies out there that do water down mm -hmm. their their urine, and it dilutes the the scent. It dilutes the strength. Um, you know, I mean, it's you might still see some good results on certain occasions, but if you stick the if you stick that kind of you know, scent next to one that's like this right here, you're gonna see. You're gonna know it immediately. You know, I mean, there's no doubt. You know, no doubt. And how I know about that, I used one, and I'm not gonna name the name of the company. Yeah. But I used one a long time ago, and uh, my wife used to always comment, "God, you smell like deer pee." Mm -hmm. Well, I used this one for a whole entire season, and she never said it, which means that it didn't. It wasn't offending to her. The very next season, we started using this one. Yeah. Now we're getting complaints. Leave your clothes outside. Don't come in here with that. Yep. You're gonna stink up the whole house. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm just telling you, it works. Hundred percent urine scent works without fail. So if you can use it, if you're in a state that cannot, we understand. And, and but you know, uh, you if you can use this, if you can use a real scent, actually hundred percent urine scent, that's the one. All right, number four. Synchronization technology allows them to collect scent any time of the year. So what they have done, and this is off of their website, they said working with reproduction veterinarians, they have developed a synchronization process that allows them to bring white-tailed deer into heat any time of the year. This means that they can collect estrus urine throughout the year so your scent is always fresh. That's, that's, that's interesting. That's interesting. Because we normally would think that, you know, they go into one extra cycle. Right. But me having raised goats for many years know that that's a bunch of hunky. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is why you have different, uh, that's why we have a peak rut and we mm -hmm. have a ladder rut because not all does go into heat at the same time. Right. Because they're not synchronized. So there's a there's an old, uh, an old story I read about um, of... The women Marines, you know, the uh, in their after they go to boot camp, that within a couple of weeks, that all their cycles happened at the exact same time, synchronized together. Something about the you know this. So I can truly believe that it is possible to synchronize the extra cycle of a doe. 
I truly believe yep. that. Yep. And now, you know, I've always wondered, and this is going to be a little bit of funny, funny, but you know, how do they collect it? <laughs> they got like a little yeah. latrine that they, they go over and they do their thing on. No, but they they, they use an all natural. Thing, and I've watched some videos on how they do it. It's pretty interesting. So yeah, if you run them into a shoot, you know, yeah, they run them into a shoot, and and it's got it, it's, you know, clean, just like uh, milk. I mean, it you know comes out, and they put it right into the bottle. Yeah. So okay. All right, number five. It says certified peak estrus with guaranteed estrogen levels of thirty plus uh, pg slash milliliters. Um, and this is where we were talking about that the the 30 peak estrus has 30 plus uh, pg mls of estrogen in it which is going to attract the most mature bucks, bucks right you know um, so so this is something that i have often wondered because you see they have the same company will have one that has dopey mm -hmm. that's the what they that's what tink 69 calls it dopey and then they have another one that's just dough urine mm -hmm. And I was wondering, well, what the heck is the difference? Well, same thing. So the 30 plus is a actual estrus urine. Right. They have a, they, I don't know if they do, but they, that's what a deer, when you see deer doe urine or you know whatever, that is just their urine, just the regular stuff. And that is used for scrapes and things mm -hmm. like that. It's a, it's actually a calming scent. Yep. You know, that's what you use to calm the air, communication scent. Yeah. scent. Right. It's not used for mating. So if you're using that in your scrape, stop. You know, put use a true estrus doe scent right. in your scrapes. Yep. All right, number six. It says independent testing found four leading brands of other estrus scent with zero estrogen. That's yep. that's interesting. See there, that's what I'm talking about. So these ones, these companies who put out all these whiz banks and they cost a fortune. I mean, I've seen, I've been down the aisle looking at all the things, and it, it is getting more and more and more expensive to to hunt. And to know that the vast majority of scent companies have no no estrogen yeah, in their no, thing, no wonder I mean, they don't work. Right? Yes. Yeah, no. You know? They're they're <laughs> make, they're making money with with you know consumers that have no results or, or slim to none. Uh, you know, maybe you'll get a young buck that gets curious, curious. as to right. what's that scent. You mm -hmm. know, what what is that smell? But that's all it is. It's not a oh hey, there's there's a hot dough. I need right. to go after. It's not that. And I've even heard the argument that oh, by using this uh, scent that you're putting a deer that's not normally in the woods mm -hmm. in there. That's a bunch of bull. I, yeah, I tell you that is that is. A, I, and that is and, a, and, and yeah. here's here's a testimony on that. Okay, I moved up to North Carolina from Georgia. Down in Georgia, I was using the same scent down in Georgia that I'm using up here. And, and that's what we had heard. Oh, you're putting, when you put that urine in there, you're putting a deer in there that's not there. And so it, you know, spooks the them and The stuff. big bucks will know right. that it's not their dough. Let me tell you something. <laughs> we have video footage and, and photos of using that exact same lure and having ginormous bucks. The buck that Ken killed last year. That big buck that he killed last year. We yeah. had him on camera going to yeah. a mock scrape. Yeah. Jamming his nose into the dirt. Right. Get, trying to get it so if mature bucks are going to be afraid of it i haven't seen any uh real validation to that right. so don't let anybody tell you that mess all right number seven raw frozen scents tested 53.2 times more effective this is what they say we tested raw frozen scent versus a leading scent brand by hanging scent loaded wicks side by side and letting several different bucks decide which they prefer the average amount of time each buck spent at raw peak estrus was 266 seconds versus only 5 seconds for the leading brand. That's 53.2 times more interest in raw. That's a lot. That's a lot of time that's, to that's plan where you're going to put that, that bullet or that shot. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it keeps them there a lot lot longer. And that's what you want. As, a, as an avid hunter, that's what you want. You want a lure that's going to attract the mature buck there and is going to keep the mature buck there. Right. You know, this is one of the problems and we have it in our property and we are a uh, deer, uh, a yeah. uh, quality deer management yeah. um, hunting organization. Um, and we still see these, these big bucks get very, mm -hmm. um, they call it gun shy, but they're not gun shy because we don't over hunt our property. 
but they still become very nocturnal. And that's the nature of a big buck. He didn't get big and giant because he was running around all over creation. He's choosing when he can come in there. And something like this that could draw him in and keep him there for longer, that's going to change his arrival times, which makes it more likely he's mm -hmm. going to come around when you're there. Yep. All right, number eight. Proven in the field by hunters. They've surveyed 609 hunters that used raw frozen scent, and 80% reported they were very satisfied, saying more mature bucks responded, bucks were more aggressive, stayed longer, and came in more quickly. I nope. mean... You got eighty. I can't add nothing to that. That's, eighty eighty yeah. percent of those hunters are saying that. You know, I mean, that's 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 why we you know we have decided we're going to try this out this year because there's so many good reviews about right. this. Before we get to number nine, if you are new to the channel, if you are new to this video, don't subscribe. forget to go subscribe, hit the like button, ring the notification bell so you can see when we put new videos up. Give us a big thumbs up, big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And share the video. Yes, please share. We thank you. We thank we you. We thank you for your, your viewership. Yes. Um, also, could. if you are a subscriber already, don't forget to go and look at our thousand subs giveaway. Okay, yeah. we're gonna we, we got we got just a little under a month. Um, thousand subs giveaway. Go on there. It'll tell you everything how you uh, how you need to enter into the giveaway. So go check that video out. That way you can enter in. All right, number nine. Innovative scents not available anywhere else. Raw frozen scent provides four unique scent products not available anywhere else. Peak estrus, nobody else guarantees 30 plus PG ML right. estrogen levels. Multi-buck urine combines urine from rutting, dominant, and young bucks to set off a dominance frenzy. Scrape lure introduces a new buck and a new doe to fire up scrape use. Calming scent creates calming through the concept of safety in hunters. So, I mean, we, we've went over these nine reasons, and I think they're very legitimate reasons. Yep. We're going to do some testing this year. Um, we, as Ken said, look, I'm a big scrape. I'm a big mock scrape hunter. Mm -hmm. I do a mock scrape every year. I put a camera up on it. I have a lot of photos and, and videos of deer coming to it, bucks and does. I've got some big bucks coming to it, some mature does. I want to do a test trial this year. Mm -hmm. I want to put this up. I want to do a, a one month test trial to see how well this stuff works over a month's time frame at the same scrape. If we have more activity, and then we're going to compare it to another to another mock scrape that doesn't have this. Correct. Scent. And we're going to see. We're going to try we're, it out. We're going to do a true field test on our deer. So hopefully, uh, maybe mid November. Yeah. You guys will see a video yeah. on that. Okay. Um, that's what I want to do. Yep. I'm a big time. Yeah, give us, give us a little bit of time to do the do the research and do a good thing. You know, we we don't just throw out stuff without doing our research. Oh yeah, so, yeah for sure. You know. so I'm excited about this stuff. I'm, I'm I'm ready for season to kick off. It's already kicked off for us down here. So our season is underway. Um, Opening day for me is going to be the seventeenth and not the tenth. We've already seen two. I've got to work two tomorrow. huge. Bucks yeah. already coming yeah, out. Big bucks. So big I'm very, quarters. very happy about that because we told you about the the uh, clear cut they did beside our property, and we were worried that that would uh, ruin the deer activity. And actually, I've seen more deer on trail camera this year than I have in probably the last five years. Yeah, Just, you know, seemed yeah. like it really engaged them to come to our spot. So I'm looking forward to this season. And oh, looking yeah. forward to bringing some hunts with you to you guys this year. Yeah, we're really going to try yeah, to get some in you know, this year. We've we been gotta, saying it for a couple yeah. of years. Got some ideas. I got some yeah. ideas of how to do some different stuff. Um, one of the biggest things I've been worried about is trying to get a camera out there and not spook the deer in the yeah. process of trying to film a video. Yeah, but, and, and spe okay, speaking <clears throat> of that, so last year I took my camera out the entire time during bow season. Took my camera out, set it up. Didn't really see anything. The moment that I left my camera at home, oh, <laughs> I think it, I think it was opening day. Opening day gun, gun season. season. Yep. The moment I left my camera at home, did not put it up. I shot a deer, killed a deer, yep. saw a deer, harvested one. You know, so we do have to find a way where we can get it up in there. Try to be as quiet as we can, but we were getting up there early too. <laughs> oh yeah, I was getting up at five o'clock in the yeah. morning. So. 
Look for just look forward to that because we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're yep. you know we say we're gonna do it. Now we're really gonna put it out, put a big effort out to do all the deer season, all turkey season. We're going out. You know we're, we're gonna kill some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> And I may even take you on a squirrel hunt. Yeah. Because I yeah. need to trap my um, my uh, Oni camera to see how it works on the yeah. shotgun. Yeah. So we thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate your support so much. Thank you for helping us get to a thousand subscribers. Um, we're, we're wanting to get to the next milestone. We're wanting to get to 5,000. Help us get there. Share these videos. Um, continue your support. We thank God most and foremost. That's right. Without him, we couldn't do this. We wouldn't be as blessed as we have been to be able to do these videos. Um, so we thank him most and foremost. Um, we are so grateful for you guys. We love you guys. But you guys remember this one thing. This is God's country. God bless y'all. We love y'all. We'll see you on the next video.